Hi there, it's your friendly neighborhood super agent, Karen Mitchell, Proactive Real Estate. And today I am at 129 West 1st on Ocean Isle Beach. And I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this lovely home. This is a five bedroom, four bathroom, oceanfront home on the very highly desired end of West End Ocean Isle. Um, we're gonna give a little tour to see what's going on with this place. This is wood siding, so that's very good. It does appear like it is in need of a paint job. Um, all of the piling work and everything underneath here so far appears to be pretty good. There's a little strip missing right there. Um, probably nothing that can't be fixed up. Everything appears to be a code. It does need some pressure washing and painting, but nothing that's uh, given me a major red flag. This over here has to be recently replaced decking or perhaps power washed, whatever it may be, but it does look a little better than the rest. All that out there appears to be freshly painted. We'll take a tour out there in a minute. Um, lots of space down here. Huge, beautiful front lot there. Plenty of room for a pool, no question. Um, outdoor showers located down here up underneath the house. It's a nice big outdoor shower. There's a little dressing area here, and then of course the shower there. And then we are going to take you guys upstairs. There's a nice little cubby down here behind the uh, stairs as well. It'd be pretty easy to close this in right here and have a nice little covered storage area right there. Uh, we're gonna go up the steps here. Interior stairwell, so that's nice to get out of the breeze pretty quickly, especially on crisp days like today. I love living at the beach, but not when it's cold. So all through up this alcove, headed up into the house, everything looks pretty good. Feels pretty solid under my feet. Um, walking up into the main living area of the home, uh, nice high ceiling as you come in. There is some real dated carpet. It's going to have to come out of here. Um, the furnishings are just lovely. You're going to inherit all of these lovely furnishings whenever you, um, possibly buy this house. Uh. So this is the living room fireplace. It does state on the R-Pods that the gas is probably empty and they've never used the logs. So plenty of room in the dining room for a big table. I can see that beam right there coming out down and opening that all up right there. And then into the kitchen. Again, a little dated into the kitchen. It could definitely use a facelift, but it flows pretty good so far. Nice pantry right there. And then of course there's a pretty spacious laundry room down here on the first floor too. This is the street side. Um, popcorn ceiling. Again, it's it's pretty dated, but it is what it is. Sometimes you, some vinyl out here on the floor. And again with the carpet. Uh, again on the first floor. So over here on the first floor still, um, there's a little, Bath here, full bath here in the hallway. It leads to the other bedroom there. Let me back out here so you can get the gist of this. So bathroom there, and then there's a room to the ocean front over here. So off to the right, this is street side. Another bedroom here, plenty of room for a king size bed, storage space, and then it's got this Jack and Jill bathroom that actually connects with the hall. Full bathroom here with the walk-in shower, uh, single vanity. And then, of course, back out here into the hall. This is the master on the first floor. Good size master, plenty of room for a king size bed. And then it has its own uh, bathroom over here to the left as well. Again, dated. It needs to be brought up to 2021 20, as opposed to 1995, but so far, so good. Plenty of storage. Um, and then this room, of course, does lead out here to the ocean front deck out here on the front. So there's, it's a great deck. It looks like it's been maintained. Their handrails look like they've recently been painted and, and redone. Anyway, we'll get back out here. Sorry, I can get sidetracked. Let me get back in the house so we can see that. So back in the house here. Um, and then back out into the hall. And then the stairwell to the left, and then again off to the living room, and then the ocean front side. So up the steps. Of 
carpet all the way through. And then up here to this loft area here, overlooking the living room. And they've got a little sitting area up here. It'd be real easy to turn this into another little bedroom, kind of make a little more privacy. And then here is the master suite on the upstairs floor. Well, I don't know if you call it master, but it does have its own bathroom, own private bathroom. So with the full shower there. And then back out this side to the right. This is a really big bedroom here. Plenty of room for these two queen beds. I just say the carpet upstairs looks a lot better than the carpet downstairs. And then this is a Jack and Jill bath to the other bedroom that is Oceanside. And then two queens in here as well. And then it's got this really cool little ocean front deck here. I really like that pool two houses down. It's on the deck. It's really cool. So definitely plenty of room for a pool. Plenty, plenty, plenty of room for a pool. Oh, look at the roof while we're up here. Over here looks pretty good. Hmm. Outside of the house here on the top deck. I mean, it looks like it needs some maintenance. Looks like they're, you know, it's getting due for some stuff. This is all wood too. So might be a few pieces that need to be replaced. Now, I don't want to kid anybody about what's really happening on this house. I mean, it, it's going to need some stuff. All right, we're going to go back inside. And we're going to go down downstairs here and we'll walk out on that deck. We'll just go quick back through here, turn these lights off real quick. Um, that way I can... Back around. All right, down the steps. So the west end of the island on all of our Brunswick County beaches, as you guys know, is usually the <laughs> most desirable end because of, uh, you know, that thing called erosion, unfortunately. Um, our east end of our islands experiences a lot more than the west end of our islands. So... Okay, back out on the ocean side on the front deck, which is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, the deck is really great. We're gonna walk on out here where you guys can see a little bit more of the ocean. I'll turn around and give you a view of the ocean side of the house. So all these decks right here appear to be in good shape. Looks like it wasn't too long ago that they, they, uh, painted maybe did some replacement kind of thing and then out here at the end so you will notice that there are pretty much two huge dune systems that protect this house that first one there in the front and then this one here at the second so i love the dunes here the dunes are amazing kind of like that pool over there um front of the house from the ocean side it's got this great gazebo out here that i'm standing out here underneath the ocean of course is right there got a beautiful place on the right beautiful place on the left a beautiful house right there in the middle so this is 129 west first karen mitchell super agent real estate professional 910-540-7258